currently reading a book on the General Pikalov, which is someone I uh, really admire and just I'm absolutely taken aback by it. Uh, I was doing a lot of research on Teddy Roosevelt and I couldn't just help but see the the crossing over of the two individuals. I think they're just have insane histories. I want to start off with saying that he, when uh, the Second World War erupted, uh, he was begged to go get into the army, but he was denied uh, because he was too young. So he was instead sent to an artillery school. And over World War II, he was in the uh, uh, on the Don, Stalingrad, Kursk, Minsk, and Poznan, and also the Stormy of Berlin, which are some of the most dangerous areas ever. And uh, he was wounded three times, fought in artillery as a, pl as a platoon commander, battery commander, assistant chief of staff in artillery division on reconnaissance, and a uh, senior artillery division reconnaissance officer of the regiment. It's crazy, just one after another. But yes, he stayed into, stayed in the army, and eventually got to the, the leading position of the chemical troops around like uh, the eighties. And uh, when Chernobyl happened, he was there on the day that it happened, which is uh, April twenty sixth, just a few hours later. And uh, they needed a high range uh, dissimilar to uh, do an actual reading because. Uh, the radiation was so high, all of the readings were getting fried out, and so they, once they finally got this gear, they uh, needed someone to drive a truck or just get, somehow get a reading, so they needed someone to drive a truck there. And uh, even with protection, this is very dangerous because the core of uh, the reactor was still open. Um, and uh, they, they explained this situation to him, uh, and he personally just uh, they explained it in there how the even with lead shielding and protection, that is still going to be very dangerous for the health of the individual. And uh, he just said, I'll do it myself. So this dude was wounded three times in the Second World War. He's on all of the dangerous fronts. He uh, keeps going back to this war. And now he's the commander of these chemical troops. Now in probably the, uh, in 1986, the most dangerous place on the planet, uh, just says, yep, I'll do it. I'll go and uh, drives through. And uh, he gets the reading, and the dude does not care, and uh, is does not ever actually develop cancer or anything. He died of natural causes. So, um, yeah, I'm reading currently reading a biography about him and just his, the events of uh, his actions in Chernobyl. He was also awarded the here of the Soviet Union uh, due to his actions in Chernobyl. But yeah, it's cool to see the crossover because I'm also reading. Um, uh, Teddy Roosevelt's autobiography, it's sort of just interesting to see how the, some some individuals are just out there always trying to get after stuff.